Here's Brody Brazil. Thoughts on the Bassett start Thursday. How long will he go? I am so glad you brought that up, Kyle, because that's probably the number one question on everybody's mind. Not only how is the start going to go, but specifically how long will it last? Is there any kind of pitch count he's limited to? Now, there's a lot to think about with Chris Bassett here. There's a lot of hope to have. And I guess respectfully speaking, I don't, I don't sit here and worry about the guy, but I do enjoy watching him as a person, as a ball player, and I'm, I'm, I'm only concerned for what he's up against, what he's trying to do, how difficult this is. You understand that he got hit with that comebacker August 17th. We right now are one month and four days removed from that game on the south side of Chicago. That is not a lot of time to come back from facial surgery, all the swelling he had, and now getting the arm from, you know, literally nothing for a couple weeks. Now, I'll get to that in a second. He did do some things, but not being in a game situation for a very long time and jumping right back in to the heat of the A's season, the time and the place they need him most at the tail end of this Seattle series, and that's when he's going to get the call. What I'm hopeful for, and I, and I think you you pointed out here, is the length. If Bassett's out there for five plus innings, if he's out there for five and two thirds, and I realize if he sees this, he'll be like five. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going eight at least. But to the point, length is going to determine how the start went and how much he was able to contribute to this team. Rest the bullpen. You understand that when he starts, it'll be game four. They'll play the next day and open up a new series against the Houston Astros um, in a busy stretch, an important stretch, right? Where you need to win all these games, you need to have good outings, but a busy stretch so that any day you don't have to tax the bullpen, you'd much rather not do that. But I'm hopeful because it is Bassett. He's a warrior. He says and usually does all the right things. I have no reservations about where he's at. I don't think this is an irresponsible thing. I don't think he's too ahead. Of course, he's ambitious. Of course, he's doing this for his teammates. I love to see it. Like I, I think this is a cool story, and I think it's the exclamation point on a cool story if he can go out there on Thursday and have a really good performance and, and go out and beat the Mariners. I, I Capable. That's what my hope is. I know what he's capable of, and I think he'll deliver on that on Thursday. What am I a bit worried about for him? I mean, there's different things to point at. Let's just go head to toe, literally. The mentals of the last time you were on a mound and a ball came your way, I mean, you don't even remember what happened next. He has said that he doesn't even remember being struck or the five minutes after that until he was out in center field on a golf cart getting in an ambulance. So that that actually plays in his favor, if true, and if that's accurate what he's saying. Um You'd rather not remember it. Now, I don't know how he's not seen the video of that sense because it's on social media. It's everywhere. You know, you could easily look for it and find it. I, I hope it has not come across him if he doesn't want to see it. But the mentals, look, he can get past that soon. But I, I hope that he doesn't even have to deal with that. That's one thing to think about. I guess secondly is just the facial injury. Now, doctors have looked at him. Doctors have cleared him. But he just had a pretty major you know, surgical procedure on his face to realign some broken bones. I don't know all the inner workings, literally, nor do I think I want to, but I understand. I understand and respect how serious this was. And my, my point is I'm watching for this, the mentals, I'm watching for this physically. And I think there's a couple other things to consider too. Dave Stewart, when he was here over the weekend, as we kind of got closer to uh, a Bassett return being imminent, that you know, your arm, it hasn't, you know, Bassett has been working it out in certain ways, he says. He's been trying to keep, you know, flexibility in the arms and his legs, but those are two parts of the body that if you're not pitching, you get out of that grind, out of that rotation. Um, very difficult to jump right back in that, you know, in an expeditious fashion. So how are those things going to go? Stu also pointed out too, the heart rate. Now that's something I didn't even think about. Uh, not like he's out of shape. Let's let's not take it to that extent. But again, to go from not being in a major league game for more than a month, it's going to be about five plus weeks, which is still a crazy short time, but also a long time. If you consider the rhythm of, you know, pitching every five days to now, 
not pitching in five weeks. So I hope all that makes sense of, of what I just broke down there. I didn't mean to get too negative, right? Because I, I, I don't feel negative about this. But I have a lot of hopes, which are pretty straight up and straightforward. I have a lot of worries, which are pretty detailed and specific, and, and they lead me in a lot of different ways. I, I hope that we're not talking about any of those worries on Thursday. I would rather this video be completely outdated uh, by Thursday afternoon when he's out there uh, delivering against the the Mariners. And l let me just say this from a, a team standpoint, you know, we, we've talked a lot about the individual part of this, but from the team standpoint, yes, making it easier on the bullpen, important for Bassett. But also I, I kind of like this opportunity he's getting on Thursday as opposed to being the first starter of a brand new series against Houston. And I'm not saying that Thursday's game is any less important to the A's then Fridays, are they are all that important. But I feel like it's easier to jump in at the end of this series than open a new series against the bats of the Houston Astros of all teams. I'm not going to make all the garbage can jokes. You know what I'm saying. They're a good lineup. Um, I'm not saying Bassett couldn't handle them. If he's in the rotation, he's going to he's going to have to deal with them probably one more time um, before the the regular season is over. So. Just want to point out all those things. I know that was a lot on Chris Bassett. L let me close out my Bassett comments on this. What a story. I should have mentioned this before. The team leader, the Cy Young you know, conversation pitcher, the all-star for the first time. Uh, so many upsides to Chris Bassett. And now he's, he's adding this chapter to this season. It's an unfortunate chapter. I wish he didn't have to go through any of this. I wish this was not in the book at all, but it, it happened. There's no changing it. It's amazing how fast he's come back. And I hope in addition to the results he can provide, whether it's one or two starts by the end of 162, I hope it's I hope it's results as a tangible thing, but I hope it's motivation and inspiration to the rest of that clubhouse as one of the biggest intangibles.